Okay, friends, it's been a long day. I was just headed out for a, a quick walk. I'm actually kind of crazy. I'm thinking about going way up there. I even brought my 44. It sounds though like the gentleman I work for might have his old welder running. Uh, I heard that he got it started. Oh, really? No kidding? <laughs> the, what, it fuming you out of there? Yeah. Ah. Oh, yeah, it smells like exhaust right there. Check this thing out. Is that cool or what? This is a welder. I will tell you more about it later. I definitely will. Uh, it's super old. I forget. Uh, the boss man told me all about it. Uh, but I'm not confident enough to be able to repeat it back to you right now. Maybe I'll try and put some stuff in the tiles. Uh, the letters below. Right here. Or not. <laughs> totally cool. Okay, yeah. The fumes in here are really bad. I'm getting out of here. Whoo, dang. Okay, back to the walk. Looks like the boss man took off. So what I'm figuring we're going to do, we'll head up over here. That's that road that leads up over the top of the lake. I haven't been able to get over there. One, I'm pressed for time. Uh, the days here have been really long, uh, which is good because, as I keep saying, it was a long winter, so it's nice to be able to be active. However, another thing has been working against me. There's a few people already like camping on the other side of the lake over there where we're gonna go cook up the venison. So I'm kind of watching, waiting for them to leave and we'll sneak over there one of these nights uh, when they're gone. I am looking forward to uh, getting up to Chapaca. If I can get off work early enough in the next couple days, I might drive up there anyway. From what I understand, uh, the legend's wife is out doing something and so he's like alone up there. So uh, we might stop by and just visit, you know, have dinner or something. Get to BS. What is that over there? I better check on that. Oh, you got the dump truck fired up. Excellent. Good, good, good. We've had the battery charger on that thing all day long. We need it for hauling out the bricks and stuff uh, from that falling over building. They're still good bricks. I think one of his friends is going to wind up with them. Maybe he can utilize them. I was thinking about getting a few of them, hauling them up to the cabin, and maybe trying to build like a little brick uh, platform out front, like a deck kind of, you know? I don't know, it, it's awfully time intensive. And it's, it's not easy getting up the grade, even with the pickup truck. We might still have a chance to see a little bit of the sunset tonight. That would be cool. We might get some colors up over here. And we are headed up, so that should uh, increase our visibility, you know? I don't know how far we're gonna get, because uh, it might get too dark too quick. It is a bit of a hike. So, well, it's, it's up there. Okay, time to start hoofing it see how far we can get. Oh yeah, I just realized we just passed the neighbor. I've got another friend I want to introduce y'all guys to. Uh, he's another Dan, so I had to give him a nickname. However, it wasn't very hard to think of one. Uh, his name is Gold Pan Dan. And uh, the guy has a nose for gold. It's like all he likes to do. I was going to go over there last weekend actually and talk to him uh he was out at the river though chasing gold so i think you all like him he's a cool guy he definitely is also i need to stop by and see uh grizzly bear dan he gave me a uh, a cart for pulling stuff so like it has wheels right i know everybody's been telling me for a long time been like matt get you some wheels for that sled right well, we'll stop by uh, Grizzly Bear Dance and uh, pick that up for our next trip up Chapaca. It is a lovely night, it really is. It's a beautiful day today. Uh, no clouds, sunny, warm, but not hot, you know, which is important.
Okay. <clears throat> Pardon me. A cool bit of knowledge. I uh, see that there. Looks like a fan, right? Or uh, the prop of a propeller on top of that pole. What that is, is a wind machine. What it does is, uh, so when it's frosting, when it's going to frost, how the frost works is that it will set up in the lowest areas because heat rises, so cold air falls. Cold air also settles, right? So the, the coldest air as it settles on the ground then turns to frost and that's very bad for the plants not so much the trees as it is the buds and the early fruit so what that wind machine does it blows wind and turns so that it's blowing wind all through the orchard and that helps pull down the ceiling air, the warmer air, right? That is then drawn down and blown across the ground, pulling the cold air on the ground back up, thus defeating the frost. Now I've had the gentleman that I work for explain that to me about three times so that I could be accurate. I hope that I am. If I'm not, I'll do a follow-up video. <laughs> Just right now, don't go telling any of your friends that, uh, you know, so like, no, seriously, he explained it very simply. That's the reason. I just like to be funny sometimes. And I'll put a little, I'll put some words down here. <laughs> nice walk so far. So right here is another cell phone spot where that pickup truck's parked. And it's also the beginning of the road where we're going to be going. It goes up this way and up way over the lake over there. So with the light, not sure how you know far we're gonna make it. We are gonna give it a good our uh, good old college try though. And We'll head on back home. I was smart enough this time to bring a flashlight too. It won't help y'all much. It helps me a whole lot. Oh, another thing I need to ask the gentleman I work for about. See these pieces of paper? There. And then there on the fence. And down there. And they do like every other panel. So see between this pole and then that pole is a panel and then they're like that, right? I might not be using the right words. It's how I understand it though. I, I wanted to ask him though, why are they marking them like that? Uh, and see what his answer is. Cause I like to notice the things that are like different or out of place and then figure out why, you know? Okay, we're on the road. And it's a nice enough road, it gets its own stop sign. So, I guess that means it sees a little bit of traffic. If I remember right, this road is like, kind of the long, long way to Tenasket. Cause when I lived here back in like 2017, yeah, late 2017, early 2018, yes. I, I rode this once, uh, very pretty, lots of nice views. Sunset was pretty mild today. This is where I got my Christmas tree uh, this last Christmas. Uh, 
Okay, friends, we're up to a first like level spot here. Well, I mean, it's not level, it's just like, it's kind of got this open plateau, I guess. See down on everything. Oh, there's the light. See those lights out there? And over there, that road that goes up back that way, that's where we took our first hike in my first uh, evening hike video. Well, this might be, this seems like a good place actually to call it a good walk tonight. Yeah, I mean, that's a pretty view. And the light's not going to last much longer. Probably got enough time to get home before dark. I'm going to spend a few minutes here just kind of like getting the piece of it. And then uh, head on home and cook up a dinner. All right, let's go on home. Ha <laughs> ha, you hear that hawk? Totally cool. Sound like it's right there in that tree too. Hear it? It's probably telling us that it's there. Like, hey, I'm sleeping here. Don't mess with me. It sounds like it's right up in there. Could be up against that tallest tree right there, that one. I'll try and walk quieter so that y'all guys can hear it. It's neat. Just before this darkness level uh, is like when a lot of birds chirp really loud. And then right about this time right here, everybody just goes quiet. And then sometimes we can hear the owls uh, start. Oh, that's what we'll do. Tomorrow I'll take you up and I'll show you some of the wildlife up around the barn. Uh, Cause there's a big owl nest in there. I haven't seen it during the day as much as I did last year. And I think it's a different owl cause this one is big. Uh, we'll ch we'll check it out though. You can at least see the its pellets and like where it lands. Uh, and there's a little bit more life up there too. There's like the groundhogs and stuff. That might be cool. you see and hear that just then that hawk flew from this branch over here to that one there at the same time an owl hooted over here we'll walk really quietly let's listen for him They, they never do it when you want them to, you know?
right, totally cool. We gotta start hoofing it now, because uh, we only have 27% left on the battery and the light is failing. So at these points, I like to imagine that it's just like a time limit. Make it this far in this amount of time. Can you do it? Ready, set, go. It's a challenge, I like it. At this this light level, I think I'd dang near have to run though before we get home, uh, before it's totally dark. And I said though, I brought my uh, I brought my pencil. Quick, give me something to write on. Uh, gotcha. Here are all the little birds getting in their last tweets for the night. Totally cool. Well, it's probably getting pretty dark for you. I'm on the main drag. I've got a little ways to go uh, before we get home. I'm gonna save my battery, lest something interesting happens. So, uh, thanks for coming along with me again, friends. And like I said, I'm gonna think of some more interesting stuff we can do. I still need to make uh, my boat. A uh, couple more things. Never give up, never surrender, because you're worth it.